Hey YouTube, welcome to Maggie's World. I'm on here to do another video. I uh, want to do another video reading um, about this other person who I have a problem with on YouTube. And um, there's some questions I have for the cards. And on this note, I need to ask these questions. So I can get a yes or a no. But this time, I'm going to use my... Um, Bit. Okay, this time I'm going to use my uh, card holders, which is you see right here. Okay, my little brown wooden card holders. And I'm going to ask a few questions about this particular person. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask a question and try to see if this person was wrong. For basically running his trap uh, about the Jacksons of Atlanta, and I'm about to find that out or um, whatever. And then I heard that he had a loss or whatever. Okay, I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, because to me, it doesn't matter what he lost, what he didn't lose, but to me, it doesn't matter. Um, at this point, I'm on here to ask you, um, ask the question. And the cards is going to answer those questions. So, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, I asked my question. And we're going to see what the cards say. One card sticking out, so I'll pull that one out. Okay. So I'm going to come on here and do a reading on that. Before I, do, before I get started with the reading, I want to ask one more question. Let's see what the cards say. Okay. All right. So, with that being said, let me get a cup of coffee. Turn this over. Oh, wow. Okay. I got, I got a yes. This person was very wrong about talking down about the Jacksons, stuff like that, whatever. And the cards gave me a, a yes. They gave me two yeses and one no. Which still means a yes because he talking down about them. And stuff like that. And at this point, I don't think it's right. And for him to get on video and get behind the camera or whatever and talk crap about them or whatever, um, the card showed, yes, he was wrong. He was absolutely wrong or whatever. Despite of what happened in his life, stuff like that, whatever. But there's an old saying, sometimes... Bad things happen to good people. Sometimes bad things happen to bad people. So, yeah. So, on that note, I got a, a, no, I got a, um, I got a yes on that note. So, let's do it with the reading. So we're just going to do with three cards today, y'all. I'm not going to deal with four cards. We're going to do with three cards today. And I'll be able to tell exactly what's really going on. Um, just any jealousy and stuff that actually plays a role in this situation. So, so we're going to 
do three spread and three. I'm gonna do three spreads today. I'm gonna see what the cards say. So, we're gonna turn one card over. We can always always start from the middle. Okay. Um, this card is reversed and it shows a lot of delaying and stuff like that. Um, let's see. There's a lot of doubts about the person in particular that, that they have a problem with. Um, a lot of things is going on. Let's see what the next card say. Okay, we got a hangman here. Um, I'm sensing. I'm sensing some jealousy. And this card. I'm sensing a lot of jealousy. Um, this person don't like the Jacksons of Atlanta at all. Um, it's like he wanted to see their video go down. And I got the Hermit card. And uh, that also so reverse as well. Um, there's a lot of deleting. Um, maybe some things happened in his life recently. Um, maybe it could have been lost. So he must have lost somebody in the family, in his family, whatever. And things like that. And um, trying to see if he's taking it out on the Jacksons. That is my big party right there. You know, thinking that he took, he's taking everything out on the Jacksons and stuff. And... At this point, it's not right. It's not. It's definitely not right, you know. And I feel like he is basically taking stuff out on the other people. It's not right. So, I'm going to do the astral reading. At this point, since I'm in the move to do this reading, um, to me, it's like it's kind of clear. That there's some jealousy going on here. Okay. There's some jealousy going on. And um, I don't know what it is. But I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Which is being. And let's see what this card here shows. Um, but this card actually tells me. Um. There is a lot of jealousy going on here. Um, there's definitely a lot of jealousy going on here. And instead of, instead of the person walking away from it, they'd rather actually run, basically run in the ground. Uh, it's like he had a hard time moving on, I guess, from the loss or somebody he lost in the family, whatever. Um, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was a child that he lost or whatever. Uh, it's like he had a hard time moving on from it, and he had the death card, which could be a death of a relationship. Um, it could be a death of a friendship as well. Whew, the death card can actually mean a lot of things. And all star and stuff like that what's in here. Uh, the death card can mean a whole lot of different things and stuff. Um, it could be a death of a loved one. Yeah, because the death card actually um, as it popped up. So it could be death. So it, it, don't, it don't have to necessarily means death um, in the family, but it can actually means uh, it could be a death of a relationship. Different. It could be a death of a um, uh, relationship, friendship. Um, who knows? Um, that's what I'm getting here, and I'm still getting something. And I don't know quite what it is, but I'm going to do a serious reading because this is getting real, real deep now. I got to get into it. Got to get into it. Got to get into it. Um... Yeah. Oops. So, gotta get into that. 
So, I think misery plays a role in this. Somebody is miserable, um, or somebody making making him miserable in some type of way. So let's see what this card here say. Okay, we have this card here. Okay, it can also mean that um, it could be a, it could be like okay, it could be like something has to do with plus depression. Or it could be like something like a loss in the family. Um, you know, I mean, it, it could be something like sadness that's in this person's life. And this is the reverse. Again, things. Okay. So I'm thinking. Sometimes people will actually be so miserable. And they feel they gotta take their anger out on their, on um on everybody else. Which is not good. Um they feel like they gotta put their anger and frustration on the other person. And this is what I'm seeing here. It's a lot of it's a lot of dishonest. Um, he feel the person that he's focuses on, that he's focusing on, um, it's not only his life, but he's focusing on somebody else, and he wants to down them and make them feel bad about themselves, and that's the bottom line. And he gets on these dad on um he you know it's like he get on these cameras and he talk a whole lot of crap about people to basically try to make himself look good. Basically. So yes, in this reading here, y'all, it's a lot it's a lot of jealousy. Okay, because I don't know if it has something to do with him having a loss in his family or whatever the case may be. I don't know what the heck it is, but at this point, um, in the Jackson situation, the Jacksons did lie. They lied about something, but I'm not going to go and beat them up because they lied. I'm not going to do that. Just not. So I got a reverse card of a Ace of Wands. Excuse me. And that can mean good luck and stuff like that, whatever. Uh, make good, he, may, he may have some good luck coming his way or maybe delay and stuff because this card is reversed. All right. And then we have the next card, uh, something like a fight. Or, or should I say, like, um, it's a, some type of battle. Um, it's a lot of things just that one person is going through and... They're taking it out on other people, and which is not good. And then we have this other card, which also reversed. So, yeah, it's a lot of jealousy. It's a total, total jealousy. Um, and that's what I'm seeing here. It's a lot of jealousy going on. Uh, it's a lot of hurt. It's a lot of sorrow. Um, and you know, like, sometimes when people actually get angry with somebody, it's like they want to find somebody else to blame instead of themselves. So this is what I'm getting here. At this vote. Now, getting to the next reading. And, uh... Now... I don't know, I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go ahead and finish up this reading. Because it's a lot of um, deceitful, hurtful, and for somebody to get behind the camera, it's like, you know, it's, it's like they're miserable, you know? And misery loves company. But my thing is this, I mean, if you don't like certain things, or if you don't like certain people's videos, whatever, nobody's forcing y'all to watch it. Nobody's forcing you to watch their videos. 
If you don't want to watch, if you, if you don't like what you hear, you, you don't like this or whatever, they, don't watch their video. You, 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 I mean, come on, you're not, you're not obligated to uh, subscribe to their videos or, you know, press the notification bell and this, that, the third. Some of y'all are not obligated to do that. But it's like, you know, it's, it's like, I see, hold up, hold up, oh. He's making a big deal. He's making a big deal out of the situation that's going on with the Jacksons. They're making a big deal out of nothing. Wow. They're making a big deal about it. A big old deal that they're making. You're making a big deal about the situation. They don't have to do that. This same person I'm talking about now. It's like his world is all upside down and stuff like that, whatever. And basically, he's miserable about something. Probably something about a loss that he just uh, recently had. And he's taking it out on everybody else. It's not right, including the damn one Jacksons. Now, my point is this. Whether Jacksons lied or not, um, that does not give him a right to actually beat them down like he's been doing. You know, it's not right. And on top of that, they're, Josh says they're not trying to hear it anyway. They're not trying to hear nothing anybody got to say. Because evidently, you know, people will be there one jealous and, you know, and basically manipulators, you know, at the same time. And nobody got time to hear that. Nobody want to hear that crap. So, yeah, you may, you, you, you may want your... You may want your voice to be heard, this, that, the third, but all this negativity stuff, whatever, nobody's interested in. Nobody, in, Nobody's interested, you know what I mean? So from now on, if I get any type of video that come across my TV or my phone, whatever, I'm going to buy, oh, oh, wait, whoa, oh, whoa, what in the, what? Wow. This dude got a lot going on. Oh, wow. There's a lot of things in his life is being delayed right now. There's a lot that's going on that's being delayed. In other words, this person is miserable. And they want anybody else to actually care about what the heck they're thinking about, which a lot of people like us really don't really don't care. But oh wow, hmm. there is a lot of jealousy there. There is a lot of jealousy. That's why this person feel like they gotta put the Jacksons down at all times. There is a lot of doggone jealousy, a lot. And people are not understanding how and when, you know, and when it happens, stuff like that, whatever. But, but then they all send me a message to my, oh, are you slow? I'm not slow. Don't hate me because I love the Jacksons. Don't hate me because I love the Jacksons of Atlanta. That's how I see it. That's like how I see it. I'm doing the reading of this one particular person. Who I have basically sent a message to and sent the message back to me, whatever. And I'm not gonna mention his name on here. But he has a YouTube page where he be on there and crap probably a whole lot of junk about the Jacksons of Atlanta. Oh, wow, his we all these causes coming at us reversed, which is like it's not a good spirit. It's not a good spirit. It's like he's miserable about something. He is totally miserable, and he's making everybody and he's trying to make everybody else miserable right along with him. Wow. There is some jealousy, like I said, the other side. There's definitely jealousy. There's a lot of jealousy here. There's a lot of jealousy. Wow. I gotta keep on what's going on cars we gotta fit in. 
Ooh, I'm getting more energy, more energy. It's not good to have enemies. It's really not. But, um... Wow. Misery loves company, don't it? Wow. I can't be there to explain it. This is not good. In other words, it's like people like that don't have anything else better to do but talk about people. Or it's like, it's like all they like to, the main thing is that they do love the most is gossip. And they like to sit back and gossip about certain people. Which is to me is sad. That is so, so sad. This person is so sad. For real. But I think the Jacks need to come out and tell the truth. If they, you know, if they did lie. They need to come forward. They speak the truth about what really happened. You know what I mean? If they knew that, if, if they knew that it was only one baby the whole time, why would you have basically go around and keep talking about third side of twins, third side of twins? But, the cards did show that they did lie. So, I ain't not going to apologize to nobody because I believed in the Jackson, so what? All right, they lied, so what? What's next? Um... He's made a big deal about this whole situation. Tomorrow's not, no, it is a big deal to me. It's a big daggone deal. And I'm getting that in this daggone fool car here. And this person is carrying a Harry Burton and stuff like that. And he's miserable. He is totally miserable. And I don't think he ever liked the Jacksons when the damn on start. I don't think he ever liked it them. To be perfectly honest. I honestly don't believe he liked, he ever liked the Jacksons. So it's like he always like all he the only thing he has really is a lot of bad things to say about them. And stuff like that. And y'all can see right here. It's not a nice thing that he thinks about the Jackson of Atlanta. Other words, he's thinking of, okay, well, you know what? They're a bunch of liars. So, this, that, the third, oh, screw this or screw that. And that's basically how he's feeling, you know? He feels like, okay, look, it is what the heck it is. And he feels like, okay, yeah, well, the Jackson's lied about this, the Jackson's lied about that. And... My thing is this, whether they lie or not, why be, you know, why beat them up? It don't make sense. It don't make no type of sense whatsoever, you know? And it's like, y'all beating these people up because of a lie that they may have told. And I have a message for the Jacksons out there of Atlanta. If y'all did lie about certain things, Y'all need to come clean. Y'all need to come clean. Because if y'all could be, I mean, if y'all into, you know, how I put it, if y'all supposed to be Christians, okay, and we all know what the Bible says, thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not kill. Okay, we all know that. But if you lie about something, come clean. I mean, seriously, um, yeah, come clean, you know, come clean, because nobody needs enemies out there. Nobody don't need no enemies, okay? If you lied about something, come clean. And as for this person that I'm still doing the video, that I'm still doing readings on, 
it honestly shows that he's going through a whole lot of stuff. And it's like he want to blame everybody else, you know, for his mistakes, stuff like that, whatever. But if you did have a loss, then just say you had a loss. You know what I mean? Don't have everybody thinking, okay, it's probably a set of twins. Okay, all right, you hold one baby. Okay, well, why would you have the baby? And that's what everybody is basically saying, you know. Like, what happened to the other baby? Just that the third is probably two sets of twins. I mean, it's probably a third set of twins. But if y'all did lie about the situation, y'all need to come clean. For peace sake. Come clean. That's the only way all this hatred and all this stuff is going to go away. Just come, you know, just come clean. I'm not mad at you. Maybe everybody else may be mad at you, but I'm not mad at y'all. At all. But if y'all did lie, then y'all need to come clean. And say what really happened. That's what I'm saying. Alright, guys. Um, that's going to do it for my reading for of this person that I cannot stand. That has a YouTube page or whatever. So that's going to do it for this video. And uh, hopefully I'll see y'all in the next video. So y'all have a good one. Peace out. Peace, love, and hair grease. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and um, press the notification bell down below. And I'll see y'all in the next video. All right? Bye.